The idea of what? If you're from the South, like us, then you're probably not overly familiar with the word Iditarod. Hi, I'm Allison, and you're watching Continental Kennel Club's Talking Dogs, the show where we're not dogs that are talking, but we are talking about dogs. Today, we're going to give you some super cool facts about the sub-zero race, the Iditarod. What is the Iditarod? So we're sure some of you have heard of Iditarod, but for those who haven't, you're probably wondering what it's all about. The Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race is also known as the last great race on earth. It's an annual sled dog race from Anchorage to Nome, which is about 1100 miles. Mushers have team of dogs and the race can take anywhere from eight to 15 days. Teams face conditions like blizzards, whiteouts, and wind chills that reach negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 73 degrees Celsius. It's a huge event in Alaska. In fact, the mushers up there are considered local celebrities. The Widow's Lamp. During the days of sled dog mail carrier services, mushers relied on a series of roadhouses between their village destinations. Word of mouth was passed on to let roadhouses know mushers were on the trail and roadhouses would light and hang a kerosene lamp outside to help the mushers see at night and to let others know mushers were still out on the trail. It was not extinguished until the musher reached their location. Today, Iditarod honors that tradition by lighting the widow's lamp at the finish line in Nome. The lamp remains lit until the last musher crosses the finish line, which is also how the race officially comes to an end. The dogs. It may go without saying, but we'll say it anyway. The dogs in the race are super hard workers. They need anywhere from 10,000 to 12,000 calories a day. That's roughly the equivalent of 130 raw chicken eggs. But they get it from treats like chunks of meat, fish, or soaked dog food, and they are also checkpoints on the trail where dogs get a nice hot meal. Mushers need a team of 12 to 16 dogs, and the dogs are required to wear booties. They're not to keep them warm though, they're for protection. The dogs are running over rough terrain, which can be hard on their paws, so booties are required. The dogs are also marked in two ways while on the trail. They are microchipped and they have collar tags. The mushers are given a packet before the race and they must provide a list of which dogs have which tags so the coordination office can keep track of them. Notable mushers. Did you know there's a Jamaican dog sled team? Not to be confused with the Jamaican bobsled team. In 2010, team member Newton Marshall became the first Jamaican to complete the Iditarod. He goes by Mushin Ma Newton. In 2014, he helped rescue fellow musher Scott Jansen, who had broken his ankle after chasing after a loose dog. Jansen is a funeral home proprietor and is known as the Mushing Mortician. He made news in 2012 after he saved a dog using mouth to snout resuscitation. So he helps people live too. Sled dog vocabulary. Mushers have their own language when talking to their dogs. A few different words include G, which means turn right, paw means turn left. The dog who runs in front of all the other dogs and is generally both fast and intelligent is called the lead dog or the leader. Line out is a command to the lead dog to pull the team straight out from the sled. If you want to start the team, you'd say something like, mush, hike, let's go, or all right, and in order to stop their team, they yell, whoa. 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 <laughs> Thanks for watching CKC's Talking Dogs. If you're ready to pick up sled dog racing, have any other interesting facts about the Iditarod, or have been to a race, let us know in the comments. And please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.